However, five, four, three, two, one. Everybody and welcome to NDTV. I'm Ethan. And I'm Kevin. And our first story today deals with Movember. Movember originated in 2004 by a group of men in southern Australia. In order to make a difference, they decided to grow mustaches for the charity for charity in the month of November. What started off as just a few men rallying together quickly became a world celebrated event. Movember is now a worldwide fundraiser to raise awareness for men's health issues. Canadians last year raised over $17.2 million. What a great cause. It raises awareness about a really important issue. Teachers play such an important role in growing us as students and people. They share knowledge and play an important role in our successes as individuals. This week, we will get to know some of our teachers better on Man on the Street. All right, guys, so we're here back with teacher Becky. And how many years have you been teaching at Notre Dame? Seven. Uh, what class do you teach? I teach grade nine science and commune at 23. And Becky, what is your favorite part about teaching at Notre Dame? I think my favorite part is probably all the fun stuff I get to do, like in science. Like the other day we Skyped a scientist from the University of Manitoba. And uh, all the fun stuff I get to do with you guys. I'm Andrew Stuckles here with Kate McLean. Okay, how many years have you been at Notre Dame? I've been working here for 22 years. What's your role here at Notre Dame? I am the principal and director of academics. And favorite part about Notre Dame? Working with teenagers. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm here with teacher. Kaylee Johnson. How many years have you been teaching at Notre Dame? This is my third year. What do you teach here at Notre Dame? I am a chemistry teacher. And what's your favorite part about Notre Dame? The hockey. Thank you. All right, it's Robbie Ray Broker. We're back here with Devin Charles Prott the first. Okay, Devin, and how many years have you been teaching in Notre Dame? Seven. And what classes do you teach? Mathematics nine. And uh, what's your favorite part about teaching in Notre Dame? Uh, I enjoy the students, the relationships that we build, but day in, day out, year by year, it's got to be lunch. Fair enough. I'm here with teacher Michael. Michael, how many years have you been teaching at Notre Dame? Oh, long time, 13 years, I think. Uh, what classes do you teach at Notre Dame? Biology, health science, and environmental science. And, and hockey phys ed. And what's your favorite thing about Notre Dame? Lots, grilled cheese, and the students. Okay, thank you. Next Sunday, we'll be celebrating Remembrance Day to remember those who have fought for our freedom. Over 67 hounds fought in World War II, as displayed on the stained glass window in the church. Notre Dame's founder, Per Athel Murray, was even named Fight Lieutenant during the war. As a school, we will pay tribute on Monday, but in the meantime, please take the time to look at the artifacts displayed in Kenny Hall. On Saturday, November 2nd, the Hounds football team was in Lumsden in the semifinals. They came out victorious with a 34-6 win, advancing them to the finals. Next, we'll have head coach Matt Zomer talk to us about the upcoming championship game. Hi, I'm here with <laughs> Matthew Zomer, head football coach. Uh, so a big football game coming up this weekend. Uh, where's the football game at? It's the provincial finals in Indian Head. Kickoffs at one o'clock. So who will you be playing? Indian Head. You should kind of know this. You're on the team, Luke. Okay. Uh, and do you have any predictions about the game? Yeah. Uh, Notre Dame's gonna win. Us to them by about two touchdowns. So how has the season been leading up to this point so far? Season's been extremely. Uh, tough. Uh, we finished with a 5-1 regular season uh, record uh, and won the last two playoff games. Uh, great team and uh, 
Um, I feel like we have a great opportunity ahead of us. It's the first time Notre Dame has been in the provincial finals in 22 years, since 1997. Um, and it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase our non-hockey athletes. Okay, perfect, thank you. Jerry Scheibel, known as Jer, Jerry Scheibs. He's been a student, a teacher, a coach, a manager, and historian. Jerry's now going to tell us one of his favorite memories of when he was younger, when Pear was still alive. We're going to talk a little bit about Pear, Father Murray. Uh, Father Murray always loved to work with young people to see what he could do uh, with young people and help them with their life. And uh, he believed in character building and character growth. And uh, uh, he always wanted to uh, help his students to become good citizens, good people uh, that could uh, uh, make a good life. Pear always loved sport. He, he believed that sport uh, helped you create and uh, develop character. Uh, to uh, accept responsibility and to uh, uh, put forth your best effort and uh, to see how that you could evolve uh, and develop. Pear was an ordinary person doing extraordinary things. Uh, he built the church, he built the tower, put the windows in the church and the tower. He always had a tremendous vision and uh, his belief in God was, was absolutely astounding. He had tremendous faith that God would always look after him and Notre Dame. And uh, we take a look around today and see uh, all the good things that Father Murray had set forth and the uh, statue of the Christ, of the, the church, the tower, the, the buildings, etc. And uh, Father Murray always hoped that Notre Dame would continue on and uh, grow and evolve and develop to help young people to achieve what he would call their potential. And, uh, that's uh, why he believed in sport, he believed in young people, he always loved to help people and uh, see that people would uh, overcome. Uh, and he developed the motto for Notre Dame, look to read a miracle, uh, which means struggle and emerge, push through the tough times. And that's a, a strong character builder for uh, young people who accept the uh, struggles of life and to push through. Uh, the tough times and to evolve and, and develop. And to... Now for the top 10 highlights. Let's see what's going on for upcoming events. On Saturday, November 9th, we have South Dust Counts versus Slums and Lions at home. And we also get provincial finals for senior football versus Indian Head away. On the same day, we got Major Triple A Argos versus Prince Albert Mintos and Major Triple A Hounds versus Yorkton Mellers. And finally, we got Junior A Hounds versus Weyburn Redwings away. On Sunday, we have Major Triple A Argos versus Battle for a Start at home, and the Bantam Double A versus Swift Current Burkons at home, and the uh, South Sussex Argos versus uh, Instagram Bruins at away, and the Hokie Regina Hound versus Lumsden Lions at home. 
On Monday, November 11th, we have Remembrance Day, and we also get Elite 15th versus Northern Alberta Extreme at home. And on 5 p.m., we have South Saskatchewan versus East Van Bruins at home, and we also get South Saskatchewan Argos versus Weyburn Red Wings at home. On Tuesday, we have Bantam Double A versus Humble Broncos at home, and Wimbledon Double A versus South East Gold Wings at away. And finally, we have South Saskatchewan versus Lumsden Lions at home. On Wednesday, November 13th, we have South South Counts, South South Counts versus Sweet Current Hurricanes away, and we also got female Triple A Counts versus Regina Rebels at home. On Tuesday, on Thursday, we have South South Counts versus Regina Capitals at home, and Junior A Counts versus Laron Ice Wolves at away, and finally we have Bedham Double A versus Regina Pet Blues. At home. On Friday, November 15th, we have Elite 15th versus West Vancouver Academy away. And we have Junior e Hounds versus Free Flom Bombers away. And finally, we got South Stars Counts versus Melville Millionaires at home. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to check in next week for the new episode. I'm Kevin. I'm Ethan. Have a good one.